Hey folks, Green Stuff Gav here. We're going to do something a little bit different this time. Is There's been a um, trending at the moment is the 90s challenge where people paint uh, old second edition Space Marines. Now thankfully um, from the Red Lion War game and Paul got us a one of his spare second edition Space Marines. As we can see this guy's um, had a bit of a time. But he's still intact. Got the peg on the backpack. Backpack needs a bit of cleaning, but so I thought we'd um, yeah strip this guy back, paint him up, and see what we can come up with. So he's going to go for a nice swim in the um, ice probe wild coal. Here we've got a uh, glass, some ice probe wild coal, and our little marine. So he's going in there. This is the same stuff that I used in the last video, last time we did this, so as so we can see it's a very lovely colour. And he's going to go for a swim for a day or so. Okay, so let's have a look, see what how this guy comes out. Obviously, he's been in there 24 hours. See this. Proper monkey. Okay, so there's red underneath there. This guy's had a few chapters in his time then. You tend to find that a lot with the older plastics, is um, a lot of people would sort of like paint over the top and paint over the top and paint over the top. So. scrape all little bits of gunk. As we learned last time, we're wearing gloves for this very reason. This stuff is a nightmare to get off your fingers. In my normal setup, so I got got to remember to keep under the camera. Monumental difference, if you ask me. Rest of the bits. Now the difference between isopropyl alcohol and um, obviously using something heavier like paint thinners which you can't do on plastic anyway, is doesn't break up all the glue. So you can see there's still quite a bit along there. See, I'll take a knife to try and clean up what I can. But it's not the end of the world. Monumental difference. What? Good enough for me. Let's see if we can find his bolt gun as well. Here we are. Oh, 
little so bit for rub. So I'll give this a scrub, scrub, scrub. That's so much different. I suspect push fit together. There you go, one 90s era Space Marine. So they're going to break him together, let him dry off properly before assembling him. So it's only mildly put together. Not bad at all. So here we go, we've uh, dried, the, dried all the bits off. We need to do a little bit of cleanup. Found an OG base from uh, the bits box. This is the thing with the uh, starter set medals are designed to just clip together. Uh, something Games Workshop went away from in third, but come back to as of late. Now we've got a couple of mould lines. Just want to tidy these up. So fairly straightforward here, just uh, filing the mould lines. There's not a terrible amount on uh, these old 90s models, but it will be noticeable on things like the greaves and uh, obviously tidying up the backpack to go alongside trying to scoop as much of that glue out as possible so that when we glue the backpack on it can have nice and flush uh, same with the uh, bolt gun now here we're going to drill the barrels out so finding the right size drill bits the key to this and then just being careful, getting your pilot hole in the middle. See, it's not quite straight here, so I come in at an angle to tidy it up. Don't go, to, don't go too deep, too crazy with it, but you know. Now the bolt gun doesn't fit on well, because, partially because of the glue, so um, we're sort of tidying up the uh, connection points and just trimming the pegs down slightly so we get a nice flush fit. Undercoated in Colour Forge's matte black as per usual. Now we did a video where we painted flame effects and that was over black undercoat. We started with scrag brown but uh, got, a cop got a pot of Baylor brown recently which is very yellow. So we're trying this obviously watered down straight over black and it's got not a great coverage. Um, we'll see as it dries, it um, goes very translucent, but uh, a couple of coats of this and really sort of like goes over black well. Don't have, doesn't have the same warmth as using a brown and working it up, but for um, speed and efficiency, it uh, certainly works well for your rank and file. Obviously, where we've got a black undercoat, we're trying to not go all the way to the edges to give ourselves a black line uh, to save having to tidy up later. And you see the bolt gun's not attached because um, I want to paint the chest eagle. So, um, yeah. You see, I'm doing all the bands. I thought I had it in my mind for some strange reason that uh, Lamenter has had... Um, check effect on both shoulder pads and obviously I'm working my way through the rest of the model thinking that doesn't look right. Obviously having a reference was always a good idea but um, yeah I worked out in the end. So here we go Just picking the rest of the pad out.
Uh, with the backpack, you've got all those lovely vents. So I'm using almost like a wet brush just to sort of get the paint on, but leave this, the, that black area. So. And it's taken that long to paint the whole model. We can see uh, by the time we finish the fingers, we can see on the original model how sort of like the translucent the uh, Baylor brown has been. So we're going to give it another coat, but see we can see here it's a very different colour. But by putting the second layer on really gives us a nice solid yellow. And uh, yeah, just going over, keep it nice and tidy. And this will be our base colour, so we'll actually mix some yellow in. Because uh, this, this would work for some chapters, but um, it's a little bit too dark for uh, Lamenters. So. Let's get all the detailing in nice. See the difference that makes on that pad alone. We're uh, not quite going to all the edges, so we're using the translucence to our advantage to give us some uh, basic shading, although we're using the same colour. And just a bit of tidy up. Make sure it's all nice and neat. Up the fingers. So then we're going to take Uriel Yellow, stick that into some of the Baylor Brown, sort of almost almost a 50-50, um, and that will give us a bit more of a yellow tinge to the colour. So we can see here as it goes on, really let, lightens the mini up. So depending on your style, um, you know, 90s scheme, we'd go up to pure yellow, but I like to think this is sort of like mid midline. Gives us a, a, night, a nice yellow with not too overpowering. So like your Imperial Fists are like pure on bright yellow. Or is this much a bit more subtle on the Lamenters, I feel. Um, yeah, picking out sort of the detail and keeping it nice and neat. And again, we're leaving some of the existing colour there is a shade. So we're not like completely um, covering every aspect. And um, I forgot to paint the fingers. We've had two different gauntlet colors, but managed to get it done before uh, it dried on the palette. Now in aid of the nineties, we're gonna go for a sharp edge highlighting. I don't normally do um, edge highlighting too much, just sort of subtle, but again, inspired slightly, somewhat by the 90s. Looks very subtle from here, but um, I think we'll, it looks all right on the end model. Perhaps a lighter yellow would have been the option if you want real sort of sharp highlights. Yeah, we can see we're being slightly careful, not too overboard, just enough. Gives a gives a hint of the the highlighting. Thankfully, by using our um, uh, straight solid color for our highlights, means that it's easy enough to just go back and tidy up. Some rack our flesh, so we're going to go for bone colour on all of the um, eagle stuff. Is there's a few different colours it could be on according to various artists, but I think a nice bone would really sort of stand out. While that dries, we got some white. This is how I do checks. Everyone hate sort of says about doing checks, but the way I do them, I just do striped lines. You can see, I'm doing this freehand. Um, and then that lets us block in where the colours are, which 
when doing it like this, the only problem we can see, we might see in a minute, is because of the way that obviously we've used the same colour to block uh, to do the guidelines as well as the blocks, means the blocks aren't equal, which we'll tidy up later on anyway, but we're aware of it is the key thing. Touch of red on the eyes and the gem. Again, while we're waiting for um, the white to dry, so we're going to pick out things like all the silver bits. We're just going to sort of like go on and do a few other colours while we're waiting for things to dry. Sort of a very wet brushy attempt there. So we're going to go back to the chest eagle and just pick out some highlights. I mean, theoretically, from this point, you could then slap a contrast on and then highlight up again. But um, I tried to sort of like avoid it because contrasts have only been about for a little while. So I'm going to tidy up some of this white check pattern. Just get a nice solid colour because, uh, again, we're working over black, so... Talking of which, so yeah, we well can see where the, the uh, checks aren't quite right. So we're going to go in and then block out the black ones and remove, effectively remove the guidelines that we put. And that'll give us um, a bit more stability. And I'm just going to start a circle. I did a video on painting freehand chat, uh, Codex markings, so uh, picked some of them out as well. Just add a bit of highlight to the gem. Touch of white, so that's that's the chest piece done. So we can attach the um, the bolt gun, ready for a tidy up later. Blocking in the free hand. Again, just a couple of coats, as this is fine. While that dries, we're going to pick out all the pouches again. We could have left them black and just done a brown highlight, but um, I thought I'd stick to sort of the... Um, in the 90s, everything was just painted brown, so... Again, freehand chapter symbol and squad number. Finding any bits where we need to tidy up the black. And going in and highlighting the brown. Again, this very sort of simple highlighting, which isn't quite right, but I think it works well because there's such a small amount of brown. Again, some more chapter symbol work, nice touch of red. Then we're going to put some grey highlights on the uh, black detailing. That's him done. As always, thanks for watching and have fun.